Hey y'all, welcome to Lions in Tarot. My name is Camille and I'm doing the daily tarot for all signs. That is every single sign in the zodiac. And this is for June 25th, 2021. Keep in mind y'all, timing is fluid, okay? So if it fails to resonate with you for June 25th, 2021, it still could resonate in the future. And just know this, if you're watching this video, it's something you need to know. Let's get into it. Got the Work Your Light Oracle. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and God. What do we all need to know? June 25th, 2021. Hope you guys had a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous, and blessed day today. All right. Align your life. Align your life. What is not aligned? or needs to change okay all right let's get into it the angel oracle deck thank you thank you spirit guys angels ancestors and god what do we all need to know june 25th 2021 all right the angel oracle deck says Peaceful resolution. All right. Peaceful resolution. Let's get into some tarot. Thank you, spirit gods, angels, ancestors, and God. What do we all need to know? June 25th, 2021. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do we all need to know? current situation king of cups what's driving us all death what's benefiting us all ten of pentacles all right money 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 what's crowning us all nine of cups all right and the outcome energies the fool yes it's time to take a journey get out and go and do it but we gonna pull one more card let's do this celestial tarot deck this is the realest deck i have it's straightforward straight to the point it gives you the negative and the positive all into in the one the affirmator deck does too but it's a little bit more of a of a positive vibe the celestial tarot deck is 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 a real it's like it's gonna gut punch you so let's see what extra message do we get all right y'all the extra message from the celestial tarot deck princess of cups all right y'all we got a lot of water energy in this reading and one earth so let's go ahead and get into it align your life what is not aligned or what needs to change 34 What in your life is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? We are psychic beings in a constant state of change and of evolution and of growth. Change is one of the only certainties of life. When you resist your psychic nature, you resist, resist life and feel stuck. Many of us have learned to be who the world wants us to be. But there comes a time when it is harder to hold on to this facade than it is to embrace who we truly are. To surrender to how we have changed and align life to, to that way of being. If you pull this card, you're being called to let go of who you once were or the things that you once defined yourself by. The job, the relationship, and the mask you wore. And to embrace who you truly are now. To courageously step into the person that you came here to be in full authenticity. To embrace your weirdness and your uniqueness. Perhaps you have outgrown some relationships or circumstances. And it is time to reassess and bring all the parts of your life into alignment. So that they are congruent with who you are today. Who you truly are today. 
what in your life is not aligned or needs to change, okay? Because guess what? There's a peaceful resolution coming. So whatever you've got to change, change it because it will be peaceful and it will work out for you. The challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. There will be a sense of peace shared by all. Even if some only agree to disagree, disagreements will be resolved in your favor. This includes struggles with employers, legal battles, arbitration, and even strife among family or friends. Be forgiving and understanding with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. Because you're moving into your current energies, which is the King of Cups, water energy. The King of Cups is basically a black belt of emotional mastery. And he'd be more than happy to take you under his instructive wing. Hire him as your personal Zen master and let him show you how to feel your feelings with maturity, stability, and care for others. Honestly, it might not be it might get annoying to be around someone this perfect, but see if you can take a page from his book and run with it. This sort of balance will come in handy and the next time you need to go to the DMV, okay? Here's the affirmation. I watch life's events flow past me. And I maintain the mental equanimity of a calm, enlightened Zen master who's clearly never had his car towed in the dead of winter. <laughs> hey, hey, but you can overcome that too. You can do it because we got death coming. That's our major arcana. We got two major arcana, 13. This poor guy is often misunderstood. So before turning death from your doorstep, no, he usually signifies a metaphorical death as opposed to a literal one. Phew. A major shift or rebirth is about to take place, but not until there's a final wrap on some aspect of your current situation. This may come as a relief like, woohoo, I hated that job, or be somewhat daunting like, but wait, there was a gym in the office, or it could be a bit of both. Either way, you can trust that this end is for your highest good and most awesome potential. After all, in order to become a butterfly, a caterpillar first must turn, clean out his desk and turn in his parking pass. Here's the affirmation. I move on to the next phase of my life with ease, trust, and a greater respect for the courage of caterpillars. Okay, because what's benefiting us is 10 of pentacles, earth energy, that's money. This giant, gently spinning disco ball of material wealth is all about enjoying the moving and shaking you've done and sharing the sparkle with family and friends. The Ten of Pentacles carries the emotional quality of everyone's dream retirement. You're comfortable with what you have. You're satisfied with what you did to get here. And now a bunch of cool aliens are promising you eternal life. Wait a minute. Subtract the plot of Cocoon and you still have a pretty great vibe. The Ten of Pentacles is a beacon of light that casts a bright future for you and the generations doing the electric slide behind you. And FYI, it doesn't preclude the alien thing could happen. Here's the affirmation. I count my blessings and gladly share them with my loved ones. But remember, I have counted them. So I'll be able to tell how many you take, if you take some. Here's the, now we're going to, what's crowning us is the Nine of Cups, the Genie of the Tarot, Zach, baby. The Genie of the Tarot is handing out grants and you don't even have to apply. This card augurs every type of wish fulfillment and its bearer, that's you, is about to enjoy a streak of luck and success. But don't let that turn into Laurel resting. This Genie inquire, requires that you also put in a bit of work to achieve your goals. Being that you're a part of an earthly reality and all. So stay active and grounded while you continue your joyful spree of daydream manifestations. And remember, the abundance train runs on gratitude. So keep scooping it up by the shovelful. Here's the affirmation. Wondrous possibilities are at my fingertips and I will bring them into existence. In other words, 
I'm the manifestor, baby. And I'm moving on to the outcome energy. It's the fool. It's, it's the first card in the tarot deck. It's time to take a leap, take a jump, and get in the car and ride. Okay. The journey of the tarot begins with the fool, an optimistic risk taker with a boundless, unbreakable creative spirit. Likes, freedom, adventure, and fresh starts. Dislikes, logic, rules, and other born grown up stuff. When the fool pulls up and honks his horn, you're being given a great opportunity. So abandon your fear and other limiting ideas. Hop in the car and see where this delightfully naive ride takes you. Here's the affirmation. I leap into the unknown with reckless abandon, trusting that a great new chapter is waiting to unfold. Reckless within reason. Let's not be crazy. We're all adults here. Okay, now we got our bonus, which is the Princess of Cups. More, 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 more water energy. Okay, no, the cup is in the back. The season of autumn, surrounded by the rich metaphoric colors of the autumnal equinox, the Princess of Cups contemplates the seasonal shift. The season of the zodiac turns to Libra, the quintessential sign of relationships, followed by Scorpio, the phase of intimate union, then Sagittarius, the distillation of knowledge. The princess stands at the threshold of her own metamorphosis, either through the process of emotional maturation in relationships or through her own imagination. In her hands is the urn, the M alembic, alembic, oh gosh, the alembic that symbolizes the birth of new feelings and attachments beginning with the feelings of self-love and respect. So I'm going to say this, the last card coincides with the first card. It is time to transition your life. You have worked so hard to get to where you are now, and it is time to go ahead and transition yourself. Walk into who you are meant to be on this earth. You've got the King of Cups coming and letting you know it's time. It's time for change. You've got the Fool letting you know it's time for change, and you've got the Nine of Cups letting you know that you got the power to make it happen. You have come this far, and you have done so much because the Ten of Pentacles is letting you know. OK, that you have already achieved a lot and now it's only time to achieve more because you got the nine of cups. And you definitely can manifest whatever you want. You just got to believe. And guess what? Let that death grip go of what you holding on to that you need to align, unalign with. Because there is something that you are holding on to that you need to unalign your energy with. And that is what death is telling you to let it go. Let it go. Because it's time for you to take a ride. And enjoy the fun side of the fool. Okay, we're all adults, right? But it's still time to take a risk. And it's time for some change. All right? I want to thank you guys so much for coming to Lions Den Tarot. Thank you for bringing me your energy. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at lions underscore den underscore tarot. And make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Camille in the Lions Den. You guys, make sure you like, comment, share this video. Please, please, please. I pray that it inspires you and it resonates with you because we all got to work through change. Have a blessed day.